right, I'm here with uh, Moses Simon, our senior man. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity of this interview. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I want to just um, ask you for the for the last Afcon, especially that group stage. You've been there on fire. You know, you be the best player for the group stage, in my opinion, and a lot of other people as well. Waiting on change between now and then, and then um, the way you performed that time, it puts pressure on you to still deliver now. No, actually, I would say no. It doesn't put any pressure, nothing at all. And uh, it's just that we just need to push more all together as a team to make the, uh, the work easier. Nice one. Um, I want to just ask you some one or two lifestyle questions now. You've played in France in a, a very, very long time. I even did surprise say they even speak French say very fluently. You know, how long did it take you to learn French? It takes me two, three years, I would say. Three years, yeah, three years. Just three years, yeah. Playing in France or whenever you've played, what has been like the best Jesse swap? Like the best way you don't swap Jesse with way you go say, oh boy, this one are the highest of them all. You talk about my career or talk yeah. about the league? Your career, your career, in your career. Messi. You swap Jesse with Messi? Yeah. Blood of Zachariah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have it framed in your room or in your living room? Uh, no, I didn't have it framed. I just keep it. I have two of Messi, one of Neymar, one of Modric. So... Massive, massive, massive. Um, all right, let's just do some questions. So the questions go from very impossible to possible, right? So you could tell me how possible these things they. I will just put them to you. So the first one is, um, how possible is it that uh, Moses Simon makes music in the future? Ah, <laughs> nobody go buy you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. You know, so nine DP to go make people move. Uh, I think only one person feel by now, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> voilà. Okay, so impossible there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> impossible. Nice one. Uh, stranger. <laughs> How possible is it that um, Moses Simon plays in another part of the field before retirement? Like, let's say, defensive midfield, defense, or goalkeeper? Uh, this one, yes, I, I can. I can. Anywhere. Yeah, this one is possible. Anywhere, I can. Nice one. And then, how possible is it that Moses Simon is the best dressed? at an event, be it family event, team event, or whatever? I think this one is possible with my Baba Rigadem, of course. I just knock out. This one is possible. They're all right. <laughs> nice one. And then, how possible is it that Moses Simon cooks instead of uh, ordering food from outside? I think this is uh, my usual routine. I cook. Yeah. Very, very well. Yeah. The one way you feature up. Very well. Not only myself. Everybody feature up. Very well, yeah. Nice one, nice one. And how possible is it that Moses Simon becomes a pundit after retirement? A what? A pundit, like to the discuss football, you know, like the way Mikel will be they do now, have a podcast, something like that. I don't want to, but uh, you never know. Yeah. Right, nice. One. How possible is it that um, Moses Simon becomes a professional in another sport? Like we see Peter Check in done they do another thing for ice hockey now. You know, some players are leaving football and going into tennis later on. Is it possible? No, that one no possible. <laughs> so once you close football, it's over. Once I close, I close, it's over. <laughs> nice one. And then finally now, would you rather be Nigeria president or FIFA president? Mm. It's deep. Oh. It's on deep. Oh. Mm. <laughs> None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. Nice one. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. All right. Uh, here with the Super Eagles Vice Captain, uh, William Trustekong. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And um, I'd just like to ask, um, you're here again for AFCON, and uh, it's a different team, but um, you're here again with a lot of similar players from last time. Is the feeling different? Uh, the feeling is uh, always different. It's great. You know, uh, it's exciting. We have new players. Uh, people want to prove themselves. And there's players like myself. This is my, uh, my third time, and I want to win it. Uh, let me ask, what goes on in your day, the first hour of your day, typically? Uh, I wake up, uh, I brush my teeth, um, I take some time to uh, meditate, um, I try to check in with my family who are home to see how they are, how their night was, um, and then before I know it, it's normally time to have breakfast already because we have quite a tight schedule here, um, but I try to take it slow, yeah. Um, the, the best Jesse swap you've done, like the best, the one that you say, this is it, this is the Jesse swap that... I'm, I'm keeping this one precious. Um, uh, to be fair, I've, I've got some good ones in my collection. We were talking about it yesterday with some of the other players. Um, I've got uh, Leondowski. I've got Harry Kane. Um, I've got Chiellini. Uh, Powerful. I've got Ossiman. I've got uh, Iwobi. I've got some of my teammates, which I love to have. Um, 
yeah, I've got I've got too many to name, but I've got some great defenders and some great strikers, um, and I think there will be some that I can show my kids one day. Nice one, nice one. And then um, the most famous um, contacts you have. Your Oof, that's a good question. Uh, you know, I'm lucky that you, I play with all kinds of stars in the team, so a lot of them. But maybe at the moment, uh, Victor Simon. Uh, we'll just do quick fire, right? Just back to back to back before they push us from this place. Have you ever met a childhood hero face to face? Uh, yeah, I've managed to uh, meet Stephen Keshi, uh, Kanu Gwanku, JJ Okocha, um, great players. Um, so, yeah, and even we had Emmanuel Ad Adabayo walking in here earlier. So, uh, yeah, it's always very humbling and uh, great to see that they have time to speak to us. Um, but, yeah. Have you ever wanted to be a superhero? Uh, no. No, I'm uh, very content and I try to do my best, yeah. Have you ever regretted an outfit um, after leaving the house? Many times, yeah. I'm not the most fashionable guy. Um, I try sometimes, but I think uh, I have different priorities now, so I'm not so very much uh, occupied about what people think about how I dress. So I dress comfortably, and sometimes people will uh, say something about it, but I'm not that, that bothered. Finally, have you ever Googled yourself? Um, I think I've had to Google myself uh, when I had to explain to someone um, that it was actually me. Um, but besides that, I don't try to uh, spend too much time on it. I don't think there's anything new I'm going to learn on Google that I don't know about myself already. All right. Uh, Kelechi, nice to see you. I mean, uh, immediately we see you for camp. We are very, very happy. But um, when you were posting those pictures where you were doing some work, you know, was that you sending a message to the fans that you're going to be all right before too soon? Yeah, obviously. Um, um, people have been, um, obviously, speculations about me and all that. So that's just to... Let people know that okay, I'm I'm really yeah I'm working I'm getting ready to to, to, to come and serve the nation. Obviously, I'm 100 percent now and I'm ready to go. So um, I'm fit. I'm, I'm and I'm ready to go. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. All right, we'll just do some one or two lifestyle questions, right? So I'll be asking you questions from very possible to impossible. So you could just tell me where the question lie. Uh huh. So let's begin. Uh, for sure. <laughs> All right. How possible it is is it that uh, Kelechi and Acho makes music in the future? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, they see how you did that. Uh, obviously, uh, obviously, I think that's that will be my own decision later on. But I'm not gonna give any. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give any insight on that one yet. <laughs> just, just leave that. Yeah. Let's. Let's focus on this African, yeah? Next right. one. Um, how possible is it that um, Kelechi Anacho plays another position apart from attack uh, before retirement? Uh, I play in different positions, so, but me, I can play in any position. So, um, very possible, yeah, very possible. Awesome. How possible is it that um, in a team meeting or a team outing, Kelechi Anacho is the best dressed? Um, uh, that, that might be impossible <laughs> because there's a lot of guys are dressed really, really well. Yeah, so that might be impossible. Uh, I might be in the top ten, anyways. But in the top ten? Yeah, yeah, I might be in the top ten, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so Kelechi Anacho is hungry. How possible is it that he eats, he cooks to eat, or he orders food? Um, it's possible to cook to eat. Yeah, I don't order. No, order no. Homemade food is the best. And then, how possible is it that uh, Kelechi Anacho becomes a pundit after retirement? Pundit. No chance. no chance. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible, no. All right, finally, how possible is it that um, Kelechi Anacho becomes a pro in another sport? And we saw Peter Cech is doing another sport now. And um, some other players that were footballers before, they are doing long tennis now. Is it possible? Football is enough. If I finish football, I'll probably do something else, but not going into another sport. And then finally, would you rather be Nigeria president or FIFA president? I can't answer you that, please. <laughs> you want to set me up? Just a minute. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you supposed to like and all our social media links. I make followers on every platform because we get content for everybody.